Well, I was recently on an episode of All the Single Ladies on OWN and since then I've been getting so many messages but mostly from women that are in long-term relationships and marriages that want out but they feel guilty because really nothing is that bad like they're fine except they're not actually happy and a lot of them say they're scared to start over and all that stuff which yes I get it but what do you actually want? Do you want personal happiness? Because if that's the case and like you, you've tried everything in that relationship and you know it's not going anywhere, I think you know what to do. Black Ram D13 back at you again. You know why? Well, it's because this is therapeutic, man. Back again with another video, hence another therapy session. Well, you heard the audio and it's not surprising whatsoever. Married ladies wanting out of a relationship relationships that lasted a year five years 10 years 15 and even 20 years in a lot of cases not because anything is wrong not because of infidelity not because of um irreconcilable differences the guy hasn't changed he's been the same old same since day one consistent more than likely pays the bills or his portion of the bills doing everything right in long-term relationships but the ladies are still not happy and here's the thing a lot of this is probably silent so what i'm saying is that yo girl not my girl my girl happy but yo girl <laughs> oh no she is in silent misery because of you now, we know this is the real pill, not red, not black. And we know the reason why they're unhappy is simply because they want new D. I've said this many times before, over and over again, and I'm always repeat it. The real pill says it doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter if you have the three sixes bank account, how famous you are. The subject is going to want something more and, of course, something different. And after a while, she gets bored with you. No love there, no endurance, no patience. Yeah, if you can read Corinthians, if you are of a biblical belief, it'll say love is patient and long suffering and kind and doesn't seek its own. Beautiful stuff written in Corinthians. Bible verse, beautiful stuff. But we know that the modern lady doesn't see it like that, doesn't care about those things and don't have the love that you would expect off the jump. So what do you have? Entitlement, dissatisfaction. What you have is discontent and a need to always have a certain amount of stimulation for something being new. Always, 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 always. And this is some forever stuff. There was a time where uh, you didn't see this type of thing because the subject was dependent upon you financially. But now, since she has her own, now, since she can do it herself, now, because the government has the subject's back, that financial part doesn't necessarily have to be there. And even if it is there, isn't that a bad reason or a wrong reason to get in a relationship just because of the finance? So the money won't keep you. The love isn't there, so that won't keep you. So you just want to go. Now, forget about the subject for a moment. And let's think about the guy involved with such an individual. This man probably works hard, probably loves his wife probably would sacrifice his life for his wife at rhymes endures for his wife he probably has his part of being unhappy too to some degree but since love is patient kind and long-suffering when a man chooses to love a woman not only does he choose that every day but the whole idea of being happy and having the newness that goes away because he has something more enduring, which is his commitment to her. But don't think for one second that that means anything 
to the subject. It doesn't mean a hill of beans. You can be a great man. You can be a good man. You can be a consistent man. You can be a so-called faithful man, a committed man, a caring man, a sacrificial man. None of those things matter because the subject is bored. Tired of looking at you, tired of smelling you, tired of hearing your throat rumble, all of these things. And no matter how much time you put in a relationship, I mean, night after night, being next to this person, um, trials and tribulations and enduring, heartbreaks and pains, that's coming outside the relationship. All the things that you have to endure in your everyday life, you have this partner that you're doing these things with. And essentially, it is meaningless. <laughs> After a few years of that, mm-mm, want something new. Now think about the guy in the situation, how much time you have wasted. And God forbid you're in a situation where somebody jumps out the bushes and you have to protect your wife with your life. Someone who is tired of you, someone who wants to leave you, someone who is unhappy with you. And that's the nature of the whimsical creature as I said before, the subject is cursed with something. A curse. Yeah. And that curse is eternal dissatisfaction. Eternal unhappiness. See, the creature is miserable within. And there's no outside circumstance that can make it better. The individual may try to fill up its cup with materialism with the newness of a relationship. But once that newness runs out, then you off to the next one. And this is why the average modern lady out here goes from one relationship to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. By the time you look up 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, you've been in innumerable, an innumerable amount of relationships you've been in. Innumerable. What you are left with is somebody who can't parabon, who can't love, and someone who would definitely cheat on you and leave you. There's no endurance. There is no long suffering there. There is no real relationship building. You are temporary and in the moment. Let me say this again. To the subject, you are temporary and only for the moment. Easily replaceable. Easily forgot about. So when your wife leaves you, when your girlfriend leaves you, you may be wrapped up in the fetal position trying to get over your heartbreak and pain, but there is no such thing for the subject because it's exciting and ready for the newness of something else. Probably already has something else lined up. My whole point here is that modern relationships aren't worth the time, effort, energy, or investment. Not at all. Not at all. You're left holding the bag. The bag of disappointment, the bag of heartbreak, the bag of the inconsistencies that was in the relationship while it was going on. And let's just be honest for a minute. Can we just be real for a second? Nine times out of ten, when you enter a relationship, you're really not getting nothing as a guy out of that relationship. Maybe something physical, but beyond the physical, are you really being fulfilled? Most likely not. Most likely not. See, we're so concentrating on fulfilling the subject instead of getting our own fulfillment. So you just pour into her. That's what you do, but you get nothing in return and you are left depleted of time, energy, money, effort. And it breaks your spirit, man. It breaks your spirit. It's really not worth it. The saddest thing in the world is a man who's actually out here looking for love. In this modern era, in this day and age, love doesn't exist. Again, going off the definition of love in the book of Corinthians, not saying that you're spiritual, not saying that you are a believer, but it is something to say about what's written in those verses about love being patient, kind, long-suffering, enduring, not seeking his own, being unselfish. It's a lot to that. It's a lot of wisdom in that. That's a great definition of love. That's something that you have, but the subject does not. And you just have to accept this for what it is. 
Here's the thing. Most likely, you as a man will go your whole life unfulfilled by your relationships. You as a man most likely will be invested or has invested in someone who will turn around and look at you a short time later and act as if you're a perfect stranger. Again, think about being with somebody in a marriage every day, paying bills and going through things together, so-called loving each other. And one day she looks to you and is just tired of seeing you. You didn't do anything wrong. No, 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 no. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Consistent. All of those things you've been committed, all those things you've been. But again, that means nothing. In fact, we can say this. The only way to sustain a relationship long term would probably be it will probably be through creating drama for the subject to keep the subject on her toes, creating drama. But if you're a peaceful brother, peaceful man, well, that's a hard task. Always initiating drama into the situation. You have to be a disturbed individual to be able to do that. Not someone who is at peace with himself. And that in itself is unsustainable. And you shouldn't have to be that. You shouldn't have to do that. But let it be known. Even if you are chaotic, which we know the subject thrives off chaos. If you bring drama, as we know the creature thrives off drama, that is still not enough to sustain it. Now, it may go a little longer by initiating drama, but it's not enough to sustain it. Because after a while, whatever drama and chaos you bring, the subject will be tired of your drama and chaos. Now, again, for clarity's sake, if you have drama and chaos, the relationship may last a little bit longer. But in no way is that a guarantee of longevity. Not at all. No matter how much chaos you're causing. You know, the bad boy. We know that the ladies oftentimes likes a guy who has issues and is giving the individual lady in the relationship drama and issues as well. But it's still not sustainable. It's still not going to work. It's still no good at all. Because at the end of the day, as Black Ram always says, she will leave you. This is a fact. No matter what you do, and I'm thankful for videos like that that we just saw because it brings home the point. If I say it, it's discarded. But when they said you have to pay attention, and Black Ram has been right for a very long time. More of the story, if you can help it, which is very difficult, if you can help it, don't invest so much in the creature. Recreation, casual and occasional, if all possible, try not to get your heart in, which is difficult to do. Because no matter what, dealing with the modern lady, you're losing. There are no winners in this. I don't care how good your game is, I don't care what you got going on. I don't care what you look like. An investment in today's lady, modern relationships, is an investment in failure. And it's not going to end well for you. It's just a fact. Terrible fact, but a fact indeed, man. But what can you do? Keep it moving, man. Get your passports and keep it casual and occasional. Amazing stuff. Got some visitors who are walking up on me. Let me let you check this out. Walking up on me like they trying to get me. I'm going to be calm and patient. Walking up on me. <laughs> but anyway, just enjoying the park, man. Black Ram 313, I'm out.